Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the awesome progress of not one, but two Nintendo Switch emulators. So unless you've been living under a rock, or I guess it's partially my fault due to the fact that I haven't covered them in quite a while, there are actually two in development Nintendo Switch emulators. The first Nintendo Switch emulator to actually come into existence was Yuzu. This Yuzu emulator for the Switch platform is actually the brainchild of some of the original developers of Citra, the 3DS emulator for the PC platform. Not long after Yuzu was announced, another Switch emulator also came to the forefront. This emulator is called Ryujinx. Now, while both of these emulators are in themselves separate entities and in separate development cycles, the two emulators do actually help each other out and share code when they make massive breakthroughs. Now, even though both of these emulators are basically nearly at the same stage of development, they seem to have taken quite different paths when it comes to their emulation roadmap. Yuzu, for example, was the first to be announced, however, due to their experience with the Citra GUI, they already have a native UI system for their emulator. Ryujinx, in comparison, seems to have gone down the more performance-related path due to the fact that this emulator itself does not have a native UI yet and seems to be concentrating more on just getting games running and building their native GUI while they start to build their compatibility list. Let's now quickly go over exactly what games are currently booting and working on both of these emulators. It all started back in January of this year when Space Game, a Switch homebrew title, was first playable on Yuzu Emulator. With the swift release of Ryujinx, the second Switch emulator, this Space Game also became playable on that. The next game to become playable on both of these emulators was Sonic 3 using RetroArch for the Switch. At this point in their development, neither of these emulators were booting commercial games. However, this was quick to change as both Ryujinx and Yuzu announced that The Binding of Isaac and Cave Story were now booting on their emulators. With the excitement of these first Switch titles, soon after we then got the news that the first Switch exclusive game, 1-2 Switch, was now bootable on both of these emulators. It must be noted that at this point of both of these emulators' development cycles, and at time of making this video, neither of these emulators currently have a built-in 3D renderer. Hopefully at some point in the future, they will decide what they are going to be using for their rendering API, and we will soon after see some 3D games booting and playable. Moving back to the topic at hand, Ryujinx soon announced that One Piece Unlimited World Red was now rendering and going to the in-game menus, however this game was still not able to go in-game. Next up, we got another bootable Switch exclusive game in the form of Splatoon 2. Now in a similar fashion to the other games, this game is only booting at time of making this video and due to the lack of a 3D renderer isn't currently able to go in-game. The next massive breakthrough for Ryujinx came when Sonic Mania was not only able to boot into game, but was also playable at well over 100 FPS. At time of making this video, Yuzu also currently boots and plays this game quite well, however it does so at a lower performance level. Saving the best news for last, Super Mario Odyssey is now booting and correctly renders the textures in the primary game menus. Hopefully in the coming days, weeks and months we will see both performance and render quality improvements in all of these currently and future booting titles on both of these emulators. So that's about it for this small history and news update about these two Nintendo Switch emulators. Let me know down in the comments which currently working games you are most excited for. Also, let me know down in the comments if you would like me to keep you updated on the progress of both of these emulators in future. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.